So this work van just came in to have all the vinyl removed. A customer just bought this vehicle with all of the branding on it and he wants everything removed so that he can put his own branding. So there's decals and vinyl all over the vehicle on the windows, the rear, front. It's a mix of print vinyl, cut vinyl, and perforated window vinyl. And I'm gonna be removing all of this with mainly just my steamer and my hands, possibly a squeegee. No chemicals, no knives, so I don't have to worry about harming the paint. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. All right guys, so I'm gonna be starting off with the hard stuff first, which is all of the small pieces. Basically what I'm gonna do is just warm it up with the steamer and then pick the edge with my finger. I also have a plastic razor here. Depending on how thin the vinyl is, I may or may not use this. Um, I don't think I need it today. And uh, as I peel this one, I'm gonna warm up the next one and just continue on. So let's get started. So I just finished this entire side except for the window graphics. So usually with perforated uh, vinyl, it's either really easy or really hard depending on the quality and if they laminated it. Um, this one is laminated, so it should come off pretty easy. And I see they did use like edge sealer. So it seems like they use good quality material. I'm gonna start off by trying to pick this edge over here on the sharp corner and then work my way across the whole window. So I'm just about to start the last section on this van and um, I just wanted to let you guys know a couple of reasons as to why I chose to use a steamer. The reasons are because this has instant heat as opposed to a heat gun so you're, you're wasting a lot of time when you turn the heat gun on or off because it has to warm up. Um, the downside to that is you have to wait a few minutes for the boiler in the steamer to warm up but I would rather wait, you know, seven minutes for it to boil up and then have 45 minutes to an hour of constant steam on demand. Another benefit is that you can have this pointed at the paint and spray it for 10 minutes and it won't damage the paint but with a heat gun you can actually burn the paint, you can burn plastic, you can burn rubber. So this is actually a lot safer. I'm pretty experienced with the heat gun, but it's always better to be extra safe, especially when dealing with high-end vehicles. Also, when removing uh, decals or vinyl, the steam actually helps moisturize the material, making it more soft and rubbery. So with the heat gun, I'd normally have um, the vinyl that tears or rips when removing it, but I can get a lot more larger chunks out with the uh, steamer, so it saves me a lot of time. So let's get back to finishing off this removal. Okay, so this is what the van looks like with everything removed. Nothing on the windows, it's all clean. You can see the outline of where uh, the color has changed. All right, the rear, the other side. So a job like this um, with a steamer would probably take me like an hour and a half if I'm working with no brakes, maybe an hour. Depends on how good the vinyl is. Like I got lucky this time, the vinyl was really good, easy to work with. So I just wanted to show you guys how I do my removals and um, 
how the steamer works. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So that's all for this video. I hope uh, I helped some of you guys out. If you guys have any suggestions on future videos, you can just let me know in the comments. And um, I'll see you guys later.